Here's my Cub Cadet electric start auto choke self propelled variable speed lawnmower with uh, swivel wheels here in the front. So I began the uh, testing phase here for my semi autonomous lawnmower. So over here, <clears throat> I just uh, started to play around here. Um, so I have 12 volt motors because um, basically that's the battery. So over here I have a relay and uh, both lights are on but actually it's only hooked up to one relay. So I'm thinking about using the Blink app. Um, so like when I press a button, you know, it turns, right? And uh, I got thinking, well, that'd be a good way of steering this thing. Um, so over here, I basically have uh, a motor from Princess Auto at Surplus, and just for testing, it'll be fine. So I'll mount it up here like so, and um, basically I have a rod going to the front of the tire and a rod going to the back of the tire. And uh, when I turn it one direction, it, it's parallel. But I have to make it turn the other direction to uh, steer it the other way. So I had some thoughts on that. Uh, originally I thought maybe I'd use a double pull, double throw relay. Um, then I got looking at it and I thought, well, that's not going to work very well. It's kind of counterintuitive. Um, so then I thought I'll use a single pull, double throw. So either when they're in the non-powered state, everything's off. And when they're relays in the both powered state, it's off. So if I have two push button widgets uh, for blink and I'm using my thumbs, when I press one, it goes one direction. When I press the other, it goes the other direction. And I can't accidentally press both because it just shut both off. Um, so I have some linear actuators I'm testing out and I've ordered some more parts from AliExpress and I got some stuff from Princess Auto. So um, there's two schools of thought here too. I could use some relays to manually turn things on and off, which I'm entertaining, and using some linear actuators to physically move cables. So first of all, this uh, is ignition. So it's just a matter, a matter of having a push button widget uh, to start it and you just let it go when it's started. And down there, when you uh, basically pull in the lever, it puts ignition on. So right there is the cable. And if you look over here, pretty heavy duty uh, spring. Um, I could just make a smaller spring and, I, and that uh, linear actuator over here, the magnet, can pull like nine point something pounds. So I could go that way, but it'd be easier to hook things up uh, directly. Um, for the variable speed though, I have some screw type gear motors coming that I actually could physically screw the cable back and then let it go forward for getting the variable speed. So I'm thinking about doing that possibly. So that's it. Those are my ideas about the process of making this semi-autonomous. I'll probably get this started here pretty soon. Uh, thank you 